a 23 year old woman presented with a lower abdominal pain and what we basically have here is predominantly T2 hypotense structure which is hypotense on stir, hypotense on plain T2 coronal axial and on T1 fat set images it is hyper intense. Now the differential of this would be a blood because had it had this been fat it would have suppressed on t1 fat sat had this been water it would have been hyper intense on t2 and also hyper intense on stir too so it is not water it is not fat uh, something which is t1 very bright and t2 very low would be uh, something like chronic like a hemosiderin so that is seen in pelvis in endometrioma so differential of this strong differential for this would be endometrioma now in endometrioma there are signs which are described like T2 shedding um, and the however it's not really predominantly seen here because it is all black. Other differential for this um, would be like for this hyperintense part at least either this part is a follicle, ovarian follicle for example you see the normal ovary uh, left ovary on this side but on the right side you don't really see your ovary here. So there are some follicles here probably. Uh, so this may be a part of follicle or this could be a decidual reaction within the endometrioma which is actually a differential uh, for uh, more malignant pathologies. So when you come across uh, some complex cystic lesion like this in ovary, uh, looking at your sequences is really important especially base uh, basic sequences like T1 and T2 uh, and then fat sat which will give you a rough idea of, of what this lesion uh, likely to be. Uh, there are some other signs described like this hypointense uh, dot sign uh, for endometriomas which you see r right around here. Uh, I guess I will try to show you here. All right, look at that. So that's uh, basically it. Uh, if you could have done a susceptibility variant imaging, this would have been uh, would have shown lot of blooming there. But however, on stir as well, it is sh on the stir also it is showing lot of blooming. If you see uh, chemical shift uh, artifact going on there, so that is that. Now my differential for this case will be endometrioma. If you have any other thoughts, any other differential you are thinking about, please let let me uh, know in comment section. Uh, other differential uh, I was thinking which is like T1 hyper intense but that should have suppressed on T1 fat sat would be dermoid. Uh, some dermoid may not suppress depending on their composition. So dermoid still I would like to put as a possibility but however uh, it will not be this T2 hypo intense. Uh, so that's why. Thank you for your time. Bye bye.